Hey guys, today we are talking about the upcoming DLC that we don't know for sure what it is or isn't, but Frontier did a live stream this morning and gave some pretty big hints. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about what I think they are, what I think we might see, and what I hope we might see. So first and foremost, obviously, as you can tell by the picture and the thumbnail and everything that's on social media everywhere, Woodlands Pack, Forest Pack, something along those lines is what I feel we will be hearing about tomorrow, maybe the day after the, uh, the live stream, I would guess. But I think those guesses are pretty, pretty close to being correct, especially if we look at all of the hints and things that were given in the live stream. Now, I have heard a couple people talk about maybe still a nocturnal pack as a possibility, but let me kind of explain why I don't necessarily think that that is going to be what we are getting. So far and up to date, we have gotten only biome related and region related packs. If you want to exclude the conservation pack, which is just kind of a movement or a theme pack, but we really haven't gotten any packs based around animal behavior. And that's what a nocturnal pack would be. Now that's not to say that never say never kind of thing. At one point we didn't have biome related packs until the first one came out and then they became a thing. So I definitely could be wrong in this regard, but I just don't feel like a behavior pack is what's coming next, especially because I feel this next pack is going to be an animal pack because the conservation pack was the most recent pack released with new build items and, and stuff like that, that this one's more going to be animal related. So just eight new animals or just animals all together in the pack instead of animals and also a new building theme or new building pieces. So I am more along the lines of either a woodland pack or really more likely what I'm calling it is a forest pack. And the reason that I want to call it a forest pack is because forest in my mind is much broader of a term. You can have dry forests, you can have rain forests. And so it just kind of opens up the possibility of what animals could potentially be included. However, if you watched the live stream this morning, it was very much based upon like pine tree forests, like camp in kind of a taiga setting, which all of the animals that we kind of got hinted at fit within that theme as well. So they could just be focusing on one little part of the pack, or it's truly going to be more like a woodlands pack, and we're going to get those woodland animals. Now let's go ahead and talk about the animals that they hinted at. The first story that was told hinted at a black and white animal with a bushy tail. And if you have sharp ears, you might have even heard Tim slip up and actually say the word skunk. Go back, watch it again. I promise it's in there. But skunk was one of the animals that was in the story confirmed just because the name was actually said. Now this is pretty likely that a skunk is going to be in the pack because it was actually said. Whether it's a striped skunk or a spotted skunk, we aren't sure, but I would put money on the fact that it is a striped skunk skunk just because they are far more common and they are the typical skunk that you think of when you think of skunk. Very excited about the potential of getting a skunk in the game. They are funny little animals, stinky little animals, but fun little animals nonetheless. And I think they fit perfectly with a woodlands pack. They're also another kind of smaller animal. So think the size of like a meerkat or the prairie dogs. So really filling in that little smaller niche of habitat animals um, that we don't really have a whole lot of, but the roster is growing, so happy to add the skunk into, uh, into that, where we can have little filler habitats with smaller animals throughout our zoo. The next one that I think was kind of hinted at, and this one is a little bit of a stretch, but they talked about some funny looking boulders, which people are theorizing means uh, weird looking poop, and wombats have very cube-like weird poop. And they also burrow, which goes along with the story that they were telling. And they also have round little faces, which was described in the story. These guys are marsupials and they do technically live in forested areas, but they're more of like a really dry forest in uh, Australia. They're along kind of the coastlines of lower Australia. 
Um, but they do live in forested areas and they do burrow in the ground, so it does make sense. I will be very excited if this is correct and we do get wombats. They are absolutely adorable and they are funny little creatures. So I am more than happy to have them included in the pack, although they don't really fit like the kind of camping pine foresty uh, vibe that the stream was giving. Um, that's where I say like forest as the descriptor of the pack might be a little bit broader and wombats would certainly fit into that category. Next, they talked about a, I forget the words that they use, but like a sly, uh, mischievous creature uh, that yips and uh, um, makes little noises like that. I obviously went straight to fox. Foxes are very known for being mischievous and uh, a forest creature. Obviously, they're kind of a stereotypical woodlands forest creature. Now, whether we get gray fox or red fox, I'm really leaning towards red fox just because they are the, if you want to describe them as prettier or more stereotypical or whatever descriptor you want to use, they're just a much more um, easily recognizable animal. When you think fox, most people go straight towards thinking red fox. Um, and I'm not disappointed. I would absolutely love to see the fox in the game. We already have the Arctic fox. So really this one could be just a little bit of a reskin. I absolutely cannot wait. If we do get a fox, I want to see them dive into uh, burrows to mimic kind of their hunting behaviors, which the Arctic fox does have an animation like that. So I imagine obviously it would just kind of be used for the red fox as well. Um, but yeah, so I would be very excited to see the red fox come to the game. Now, last but not least, the fourth creature that was all but confirmed because we got a stuffed animal raccoon at the very end of the stream with a little note on it. These guys, wonderful addition to any pack and just to the game overall. Raccoons are some of the funniest animals. Um, they are super mischievous. They are little menaces. Their hands are creepy as hell, but their faces are super cute. So raccoons probably most likely come into the game because like I said, we had a little stuffed animal of a raccoon at the end with a little note on it. These guys, um, awesome addition to zoos. Um, I actually worked a lot with raccoons at now my previous job. Um, one of the most disgusting animals I have ever worked with, uh, but a very good addition to any zoo because they are incredibly fun to watch uh, get into things, run around. They're incredibly good climbers. They have really dexterous hands and they actually are very, very tactile creatures. So they like to kind of feel things up. Anything you give them, they're going to kind of use their hands and feel it. It helps them map kind of an image of that object in their brain. So it's very much part of how they explore their world. So they're just fun animals for guests to watch in any facility. So awesome addition. Um, I would really want to see some pretty cool animations with these guys because they are so animated. They are so interesting um, and they have mannerisms that not a lot of other animals have. Um, but yeah, so raccoons. So that means that the skunk, the wombat, the red fox, and the raccoons are kind of the four animals that I won't say guaranteed at the moment, but I will say uh, as far as raccoons and skunks go, I am 99% sure that those two are confirmed. Wombat and red fox, probably more like 80%. However, if we're thinking of an animal pack, I do think there is room for a few more animals. First wish list animals going to be the porcupine. So these guys are a woodland forest creature. I think that they would make an awesome addition to the game. You can see here a couple little videos and a picture of some porcupines uh, just hanging out, being porcupines, doing their porcupine thing. I actually was able to see a baby porcupine at the Alaska Zoo on my recent vacation. And they're just such interesting 
animals. They're very weird, but they're very interesting. Um, very large rodents. So again, another kind of smaller animal that fits into um, being able to fill in our zoos with kind of the lower, and I hate describing them that way, kind of the lower ticket animals, but you know what I mean. They're not the elephants and the lions of the zoo. They're kind of the filler while you're walking around and have kind of smaller habitats off to the side. Um, but you, you need those animals. It's really important to have those in your zoo. So porcupine would be one that I would very much like to see. The next one being the coyote. Now, what makes me feel like the coyote might have been hinted at actually in the live stream is at one point they were describing uh, the yips and the mischievousness, which I took as the fox. And then they went on to describe a noise as barking and howling. And I don't necessarily associate those two adjectives with noises that foxes make. Foxes are incredibly vocal, but I would not describe any of their noises as barking or howling. Let me know if you disagree or if you've heard a fox make any of those noises, but I felt like the other kind of foresty or woodlands creature could potentially be the coyote. Now, coyotes around where I live are very much either urban or kind of scrubland, grassland type areas because I live in San Diego, so it is, uh, of course, a desert. And so they're really not in like heavily wooded areas, but they can be. We do have mountains kind of a couple hours from where I'm at, and there definitely are coyotes that live all over. So whereas the forest is not there only habitat. They very much are a very well adapted animal to many different habitats. They certainly could be associated with a forest or a woodland pack. And I would love to see them in the game. Um, another canine, a little bit smaller than the wolves that we have in the game. Um, and just just an awesome addition. Um, there are already coyote mods, so I know some people do have them in their zoos already, but it would be really nice to see this guy come as an official part of the game put out by Frontier. So not mad about that. Very excited for Coyote if that is a possibility. I did see a couple other people kind of suggest like Red Wolf or Maned Wolf or some other type of wolf. And I definitely think that all wolves are kind of on the table as up for consideration. Um, they would, in my opinion, bigger wolves just be a um, a reskin of the gray wolf or the arctic wolf that we already have, but that doesn't exclude them from the realm of possibility. I think it's certainly still possible that we see uh, a different species of wolf. Now, the last two animals that I want to talk about are probably not correct, but they are very much wish list animals in my book. So with free update 1.11, we are getting a lot of additions to exhibits and exhibit animals are getting a lot more attention. So in an animal pack, I'm assuming there is going to be an exhibit animal, if not a couple added, who knows, you never know. I want mammals. I want some small, tiny mammals. So the first animal that I think of uh, as a woodlands animal would be like a squirrel or a chipmunk. And how cool would it be if they added them to exhibits and instead of a glass exhibit, we got kind of like a mesh exhibit or a chain link exhibit, something that would uh, fit these guys very well. They would have lots of climbing trees inside to run around. And I think it would be fantastic to have the chipmunk added to the game. The educators will be bringing animals out onto either their hands, one hand, two hand, or their shoulders. How adorable would it be if a little chipmunk sat on a keeper's shoulder? Now I have no idea what the training potential of a chipmunk is. They certainly are not known for having the highest attention span or the highest level of intelligence. So who knows if they would actually sit on your shoulder or not but I think it would be pretty cute. And so I would love to see the chipmunk added as one of our exhibit animals. If not the chipmunk, a hedgehog could be another possibility. Hedgehogs are absolutely adorable. They can be kept as pets. They are illegal in California, unfortunately, but in a lot of other states, they are legal to have uh, as pets here in the United States. And they are a very common animal that you might see in like a children's area or um, a smaller section of some zoos because they're fun to watch walk around. They are nocturnal, so they 
they don't do a whole lot during the day, um, but cute nonetheless, and certainly an animal that the educators could take out of the exhibits, hold in their hands, and give presentations on uh, to the public. So those are a few of my speculations. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know what you hope to see, or if you feel like we might see something else, let me know down in the comments below. Let's talk about it. We are very likely to hear an announcement very, very soon. So <laughs> hopefully I'm right. And if you're watching this after you already know, you can let me know if I was wrong or not. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm super excited for more Planet Zoo content. If you made it this far, if you're excited for the new content, leave a like on the video and comment down below and be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to continue to be updated on Planet Zoo whatnot and all the updates that they have coming, as well as speed builds and gameplay, uh, here is the place. So thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate the support and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!